So you guys wanna know how we sell our stop pal? <laughs> what up kings, queens, prince and princesses? Welcome to another day of vlogging. I've been receiving a lot of comments saying, hey Dominique, how do you sell your stop pal? What do you sell it for? What's the prices of your stop pal? So I know exactly how much I should be selling my products for. Well, I decided to make a video. I love you guys. Keep commenting and whatever I see, I will start applying to the videos. So you guys want to know how we sell our stop pal? I'm going to let you see at first hand. I'm going to I'm at my spot where we normally sell. My dad normally comes out with me so they can sell their stop pal, but he can't find his keys. So I'm just gonna be out here by myself. But let's get to it. All right guys, so I'm at my spot. My first step is to take everything from out the car and put it right there. I have tables, stack everything up on the tables, put all the tissue and the napkins, the paper products, put all that out. And it's getting cool out here. Um, this the first day I had to wear a jacket or wear a little small, little windbreaker sweater, whatever you want to call this. This the first day. Everywhere I go, I've been riding down the street on my way here and everyone have on either a sweater or a jacket. Yeah, so it's getting pretty cool. Let me see how many degrees it is. It's 63 degrees, and yes, I know for you all who are up north, oh, this is not cold for you guys, but it is freezing for us because we normally, our norm is 80 to 90 degree weather. So it just switched from 80 degree weather to 63. So that's cold to us. So we know y'all up north people can handle five degree weather and all that. I can't do it. <laughs> so I don't think we can live up north. But I would like to live in New Jersey. But let me get all this stuff out so I can show y'all, go over the, all the prices for everything. This is everything. And this is pretty much everything we have in the trunk. I'm going to switch over to that other camera because I'm, I just looked at the back of the screen and it's looking like it's kind of blurry, like it's not giving the full quality. So I'm going to switch over to the other camera and I'm going to just take this camera back today. I can't keep dealing with this broken lens. So I'm going to just have them fix it and just get it over with. All right, guys, I switched over to this camera. And what I really don't like about this camera is I don't have a dead cat on this camera like I did on my other camera. So it was hard for you to hear the wind. Every time the wind blow on this camera, you're going to hear it. So it's going to be hard for you to hear me. So I'm going to just have to use this, I guess. But... Let me get all this stuff out. And I guess I'm doing too, going over our little routine of us uh, selling our products every weekend. Cause this is pretty much what we do. I pack down, I pack the whole truck up until it can't go anymore. I pack it up till it can't fit anything else. I could have fit, I could fit some more stuff in here. I just decided to leave home, but I jam pack it every other weekend. But come out here and then set up and then get the selling so i'm gonna show y'all our little routine i guess i guess i can show y'all our little secrets five dollars guys I have everything set up the reason why it took me so long is because people was coming up here while I was setting up and they was buying some stuff so that's why it took me so long but I'm about to go ahead and break down what we sell this stuff for so here I start in the back we have the Swifters those are three dollars 
the gang flings for the big 42 count those are nine dollars the big gang right here a hundred ounce these are nine dollars no these are eight dollars i'm sorry these are eight dollars the smaller gang right here these are four dollars the bit tied pure clean these are nine dollars right here and these little sheets the game sheets we do for a dollar these pots right here four dollars for the small pack seven dollars for the bit pack for the game right here these are three dollars for all the game three dollars three dollars five dollars for the oxy clean detergent laundry detergent five dollars four dollars for the gang fabric softener four dollars and two dollars for these gang fabric softeners two dollars we was getting those for free these here are two dollars the cleaner lights all cleaner two dollars these are two dollars the scrubbing bubbles the newer scrubbing bubbles the phone these are three dollars the toilet clean the toilet bowl cleaner these are three dollars we have the new let me shine dish soap for three dollars clorox disinfective wipes two dollars these are two dollars the unstoppable spray this is three dollars five dollars for the automatic air freshener spray five dollars and these plugins are two for five two for five dollars so two for five dollars for all that two for five dollars for the dove this is shampoo two for five dollars these are four dollars for the men and one one <laughs> i'm sorry for the men and woman deodorant spray those are four dollars each and the lady and men speed stick deodorant those are two for three dollars all of the dial body wash whether men or women those are two for five dollars or three dollars each and then we have the axe body wash those are four dollars each we only have one left because these sell fast and then one dollar for the makeup and then one dollar for that makeup then i'm gonna go out here to the paper products right here we have five dollars so we have five dollars for all the paper products right here these are five dollars and I have to pick these up because these keep falling because it's windy. Diapers, the pampers, huggies. These. Those are $6 a bag. Each bag. And those are a good deal because each bag in the Publix, they $9.94 for those size bags. And then $5. $5 for those paper products. So this is pretty much everything that we have today. This is not everything that we have. I actually thought we brought out more stuff than I did bring out. So I shorted ourselves. So that's less money we would be making because we have a lot more stuff to bring out here that I forgot to bring. Oh, and I just wanted to let you guys know the reason I would record everyone who comes up and buys stuff, but I don't want them to be on camera. And some people, they don't want to be on camera if i had my other camera i'll do a time lapse because that's different you're not actually recording them it's just fast paced pictures lined up together so you can't really see people's faces you can just see their body movements so if i had that camera i would do a time lapse but we get a lot of business like we have a lot of regular customers that come they come here every single week and buy up all our stuff so we are low right now on the stuff we have way more stuff than this normally when we come out here but everyone they always come and they buy up all our stuff so we just got to keep restocking that's why you see every week we out buying more and more stuff because we sell it every weekend so that's the reason why we're pretty low right now 
and if you guys have a lot extra more than what you need for your household I highly suggest that you sell that stuff and a lot of people they've been trying to see what's the best price all you have to do is research and go on walmart.com make sure you select walmart prices and then see what they sell it for normally walmart is cheapest out of all the other stores so if you beat walmart prices that means you're beating everyone else so everyone would want to buy your products because you're cheaper than the store as long as your products are cheaper than the store people would gladly buy your stuff so go out and sell all of your stuff please go make this money because there's a lot of money to be made a lot of money people want all this stuff for cheap so i hope this video helped you guys love you guys another tip that i want to let you guys know you can sell this stuff in your front yard just make sure wherever you go it's a lot of traffic see we're at a four-way stop that's why we love this spot it's a four-way stop right here So that means cars have to stop right where we're at and it's a lot of traffic. People getting out of church on the weekends, on Saturdays, people going out like going to the mall and stuff, going to stores, they have to stop right by us. And then they just pull in right on the side and pick up pretty much everything. So the number one tip is location. Find a good location. Number two tip, get permission to wherever you're setting up at get permission do not just go and set up anywhere get permission to where you're setting up at and then three tip three make this money make this money baby see right then i just had to stop recording because people have they want to buy stuff they need all of this stuff just think about it everyone needs this stuff and they want to buy it cheaper if the next person have it cheaper they want to buy it so make sure your products are cheaper than the store and you'll always make money because you getting it, you getting all this stuff for dirt cheap, selling it cheaper in the store, you're making so much money. It's times that my parents, they come out here, they make $1,000 a day, $1,000 a day. So that's just an idea of how much money you can make. That's way better than working on somebody's job, making $100, $300 a day, making $1,000 a day selling your products. We make pretty well out here. Trust me, we make pretty well out here. So go out and sell your stuff that you don't need or all of your extra stuff. If you have extra stuff, make sure you go out and sell it because you can make a killer. Believe me, you can make a killer. And another great tip is always have ones. Always have change because your change will go so fast. Your change, if you come out here with even 20 ones, your change can go in 10 minutes. So bring a lot of ones, fives, and tens. And once you do sell, make sure you put up all your big bills. You don't want to have that money just sitting on you. Make sure you put those big bills up. And always, another tip is to always find your sweet spot of when to come out. Because for us, Saturdays we come out real early, like 8 or 9 o'clock in the morning. And then on Sundays, because a lot of people are getting out of church, we come out a little later. So you have later services that end maybe like 12 and 1 and 2 so we try to come out around 10 to 11 and then we can set up and be ready by the time a lot of people are getting out of church so find your sweet spot on when to come out to start selling yeah so i hope this video helped you guys know exactly what we sell our products for and always remember we have way more products than this and we get more stuff so once we start adding more stuff to our stop pal i'll let you guys know what's the price for that stuff because this is not everything that we get i actually thought we brought out way more stuff than this but we didn't so this is all we have to sell but we have a lot more paper products a lot more of each one of these well not everything but we have a lot more of some of these products so i hope this video helped you guys but if you like this video smash that like button and subscribe if you're not subscribed and always remember you are a king you are a queen you are a prince and you are a little bitty princess bye peace